Hello, my name is Pierre Fontaine. I have been a professional homeopath for the past 20 years or so. And this may very well be my most important video ever. It's been a little while. So, almost on a daily basis, people ask, approach me and tell me about so-called die-off or aggravation or something is coming out. And so, it must be good. In a nutshell, it is not good. It is the wrong direction of healing. I explain. In short, die-off is an excuse for practitioners who disregard the basic rule of healing and by disregarding it or not understanding it cause unnecessary suffering. A few videos ago, I explained, as I do in my book, One Heart, One Mind, that our bodies are made mainly of bacteria, viral, and fungal matter. More specifically, viral, bacterial, fungal matter actually outnumbers human cells by at least a factor of four and possibly by as much as a factor of nine. That is to say that there are far more bacterial and fungal cells than there are human cells in the human body. Once again, somewhere between four to nine times more. Without this primordial cellular matter within us, we would not be alive. We are on the arc of biological evolution sparked about 2.5 billion years ago. Each one of these broad categories I call VBF, very best friends, includes thousands of different colonies, all interacting and influencing each other, as well as interacting with our own cellular activity in health and, of course, in disease. When someone gives a homeopathic remedy and talks about die-off, that person simply does not know what he or she is talking about. It is an excuse for the wrong direction of cure, as it is termed. It is the opposite direction of healing. So when practitioners of various professions want to kill, for example, fungal matter, and give an antifungal, say, oregano grape, or rosemary oil, the attempt is to be antifungal. There can be a reaction, often called an aggravation. It is called that way because people can actually see the nefarious effect of it. But what actually is happening? Because I assure you it is not a die-off. What actually is happening is not the death of VBF matter, most people imagine, but rather it is the adaptation process kicking in. Please take a look at the amazing video from Harvard University on the process of bacterial adaptation to antibiotic. Believe me, the reaction to either a homeopathic remedy or a natural benign so-called antifungal is not die-off. The process of adaptation is what causes the pain and the aggravation everyone is talking about. It is a very uncomfortable process that creates suffering Nobody has killed anything, and in the end of the suffering process, there may be a short-lived improvement, 
and it is short-lived because once the VBF matter has adapted to what was introduced, it goes back to its original state, vital state, we can say, and by extension, so do we. And our state of disease or our child's state of disease remains essentially then unchanged. Or worse, worst. <laughs> Folks, there is no suffering and healing. In fact, suffering and healing are contrary to each other. How could it be otherwise? Now, imagine a ruler with zero in the middle of it. Zero is the starting point of a case. A case does not start with zero at the end of the ruler. And here's the reason why. When healing occurs with an appropriate homeopathic remedy, we move into positive territory. When die-off, so-called, happens, we go into negative territory. So, now, here's the censure. The die-off people will have you believe that zero is here that a case start with zero here, and that anything that happens after taking something is actually positive. It is not. It is the wrong direction of healing. Getting worse before getting better is absurd, and nobody should be subjected to that. It is an excuse for bad practice. It is unnecessary suffering. That was a mouthful. I understand die-off is widely accepted, okay, because somehow it makes sense to people, but it is a fallacy, and to a large part, it is telling of how many bad practitioners there are out there. Getting better is healing. At least one should not cause suffering, as on the ruler here, which can lead to harm. Now, medications such as antibiotic actually kill bacteria, mainly by destroying the cellular membrane, which spills, <laughs> leads to the spilling of the protoplasm, that which is in the cell, including the nucleus, in the body. Now, let's put our feet to the fire here. Most people have taken antibiotics. And so I ask you, did you suffer from die-off? Because if die-off is real, then given the numbers I explained above, then die-off should be a major issue when one takes an antibiotic. I'm not asking about changes weeks or month after taking an antibiotic. I am just talking about suffering from die-off right then and there, much like a child on the spectrum uh, assumed to be aggravating from die-off. Now, the answer to my question is most likely no. Otherwise, pretty sure antibiotic would actually be off the market. But let's see. In short, the die-off theory does not hold water. When the die-off effect happens in a child on the spectrum, the VBF balance is actually getting worse rather than better. People with Lyme are an unbelievable example with this. Each disease has its peculiarities, and when it comes to Lyme, people want to fight this thing so much, it is like a war of the roses. And the suffering increases. It increases so much, close to death even. It is totally crazy. The universe is based on love. Love leads to order. 
within order this hierarchy. There is hierarchy in the body, and the more disorder there is, the more illness there is. Justification, or rather an excuse for bad practice, only leads to increased suffering, whereas an accurate remedy would remove pain quickly and effectively. But at least an inaccurate remedy should not cause, should remain even, should remain at zero rather than into negative territory. For the past 20 years, I have said that a child on the spectrum is very physically fragile, as his or her body are frequently either immune or uh, overimmune or underimmune. And to restore health with a homeopathic remedy requires a deep analysis. It is difficult enough work. I believe, in fact, it is the most difficult. It is no wonder to me that some people cling to excuses, but do understand that this is all die off is. I sincerely hope this video helps you understand this issue and prevent suffering. We know and are better than that. Thank you very much for listening.